a double shoulder using the hammer and anvil edge to pinch it. You're essentially pinching between this edge and the, what's the toe of the hammer. On the hammer you have your toe, is in front, take your toe, and then the heel is back here. And if you want to try this before it gets all hot, bring this in here, hold on to it with your bare hand, and drop the hammer down, and what you're sensing for is no concussion in your hand, meaning the toe of the hammer is landing directly over the edge of the anvil. So you're pin you've got a very effective pinch. If you're too far forward, you're going to feel concussion in your hand. If you're too far back, you're going to feel concussion in your hand as well. So there's our square. Check it and flip it. The anvil edge and the hammer edge are going to give you different shapes. So you want to strike a balance between the two and move it along. Flatten it back out, bring it back on here. I'm locking that corner up created on the edge of the anvil. I'm a fan of starting back from the shoulder, starting at my forging hammer, and march it towards, march it towards the edge. See how it kicks it over? That's okay, you can straighten it up. Flip it over. So I start well away from it, and every blow I move forward a bit. Tearing in, kind of. Okay, so I'm gonna start back here. Now I'm almost to my center point. March right up. Flatten it out, flip it over. One, one two, three, flip it over. One, two, three. Then I kind of roll it a bit, hinging on the shoulder to work the front. And then stand it up and push these corners in. And we'll flatten it out. And sometimes flattening out pushes corners back out because there was mass there. It was thickening up. And so I just start at the top. Take down there, start at the top, rotate around. Position that on the near edge here. This also is a nice opportunity to tilt your hammer and kind of blend some of these edges and create a better round shape. You can kind of tip your hammer. And I always like to put a little bit of hammer chamfer. Right? And what I'll do is record from our center punch mark to another registry point. I like to use the inside shoulder there. So I'm going to squeeze that down. heat up about half, about half of it. <coughs> Try to make sure it's somewhat level in the vise. Lock it in. So I've kept this parallel to the vise. If you don't like it, pull on it and tap on this side and you can take it all out. On this side, make sure it's straight. And this is nice too because you can look at both curves and both offsets. I let them cool to do the final, the 
final uh, tweaking of the shape. They're easier to hold, it's easy to bend. You can put these in the vise, twist them this way. Sometimes they're a little, a little twisted. You have to chew them up.